So the second thing I wanted to show you um, is how to use also NetViz as a starting point for uh, making uh, screenshots uh, of posts, right? So if you want to uh, do qualitative analysis, um, you know, look at individual posts, um, you know, just browse through them, or if you want to narrate uh, the, you know, the, the story of, um, you know, what happened on a particular Facebook page um, through, a, through a video, it, it can be just very practical to, you know, not having to scroll through a Facebook page, which can, you know, um, get very burdensome very quickly, right? Large pages, uh, they will really slow down your computer and it will be difficult also, you know, to, to home in on individual elements. And this is why um, NetViz uh, also has, um, as here the last column of, you know, the same data file as before, uh, a list of uh, URLs um, that lead to posts. So, uh, yeah, this is just an example here. Um, now I don't want the video to play. Uh, so this is, you know, uh, the link to one particular post. So the only thing you have visible here is, well, of course, the Facebook elements, but then the post itself. Um, and if you scroll down, right, you get uh, uh, the, the comments and so forth. And, and this is a way of, um, you know, going through, through uh, content uh, step by step. So um, in order to make a screenshot um, of all of those posts, we're going to use a Firefox extension a Firefox extension called um, uh, Grab Them All, right? So it's the same one that we use for the, the Wayback Machine uh, um, assignment. And uh, what we need for that is basically simply a text file that contains, you know, has one URL per line that you want to make a screenshot of. So I'm just going to, you know, copy here uh, all of my URLs. I've already prepared this file, it's empty, I'm gonna, you know, put my uh, URLs in here and all right, ready to go. Um, okay, so I can then go back to Firefox and simply say, you know, uh, let's start uh, um, grab them all. Um, grab them all doesn't have all that many options. Um, I'm going to show you the preferences a bit later, but here when you, when you want to start the process, you, you basically just have to provide, well, the file we have uh, just made. Um, a destination directory where you want screenshots to be stored, and then a little bit the waiting time that um, grab them all should wait before going to the next post, right? So this is particularly relevant when you're working with the Wayback Machine that very often can be slow. So this is kind of the time for, you know, how long to wait until the page is loaded and then how long to wait for JavaScript to execute. I mean, Facebook is really fast in general. So um, especially, you know, if you're looking only at individual posts, so we can choose a low number. So this is already, you know, really quite uh, quite generous. So let's uh, open our URL file, which is here. And oh, there seems to be a problem, right? So it, it has only found one record, but it should be a lot more, right? There were 50 posts in there, so it should find 50 records. Um, so, so this has to do with something that, that, you know, you really have to watch out for very often, right? Um, so beyond just, you know, .txt, uh, files are encoded in different ways, right? Um, and since we're not in a kind of, you know, uh, um, you know yeah, realm where, uh, you know, uh, software has like big budgets, but, you know, a lot of the stuff we're using is, um, is um, uh, you know, not used by all that many people. So, you know, there are bugs or there are, you know, things that haven't been implemented. Um, and, and so this is something that can really occur. So what I have to do is actually open this file with another text editor called Sublime Text, which is just a really good text editor, um, and uh, try to change the encoding, right? In this case, uh, when I look at, at you know, the error here, only one record found, I would say that, you know, it misses, it isn't, it isn't able, uh, the, the plugin isn't able to process um, uh, line endings, right? So this is a problem that on Mac you will run into probably from time to time. On PC in general, this is much less of an less of an, an issue. But here, um, a Sublime Text offers me uh, the line endings option here in view, and I see okay, the line endings have been encoded in Mac OS nine, right? So that doesn't work for grab them all. So I'm going to change that to Windows. And then just simply, you know, save the file with uh, 
uh, comment S. Let's try it again. Yes, nice, 50 records found. So that is good, right? So I'm gonna set a destination directory. I've already created that images here. I'm just gonna, you know, let it run. Uh -huh, the first one seems to be a problem, but I think, uh, yeah, it's probably because I added like a line break before the first line, but now we're, we're starting. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to, you know, watch it, uh, watch it work, but uh, we can see in the background, if I go in that images folder, that, uh, okay, screenshots are starting to come in. Um, here we got one, we got a second one, and you can see um, they're kind of uh, cut off at a particular uh, height. Um, uh, there are more coming in. All right, so you can see uh, if you want to make a video, it's kind of very easy to just, uh, you know, go through the content and then, you know, maybe comment on it uh, or, you know, just use it uh, uh, for qualitative uh, uh, analysis here. Um, but indeed, the cutoff is kind of maybe one of the most important options. So I'm just going to cancel here uh, my uh, grab them all. And um, I'm going to show you the preferences for grab them all because they are quite interesting in this context here. So i uh, grab them all. Where is it here? Preferences. Um, you know, you can see here you know, in preferences, you can, you know, JPEG, PNG, all right. Um, but you can also ask it to grab the complete page, right? And then you, you, you do not get only, you know, like a visible uh, window, which, you know, you can set the size here, but you get kind of the full, you know, the full, um, you know, page where normally you would have to scroll down, right? So for qualitative analysis, that could be very interesting, right? To have everything just in front of you. Um, whereas for making a video, uh, it's very nice to, you know, have the, the same screenshot size for uh, for every post. Um, you'll have to maybe wiggle around a little bit with those sizes, you know, see what fits. Um, you know, don't just start making screenshots, you know, test a couple of URLs, see, you know, do you get the content on page that you need? And then maybe, you know, change uh, particularly the value for, uh, for uh, height. Right, so, but um, again, just to, to run uh, through what we did here very quickly, um, I made a file that basically contains all of the URLs for each individual post, um, right? That file was just basically a text file. I opened that file with a browser extension called uh, uh, grab them all. Um, you know, I, I set some preferences and in the end, you know, I got a bunch of uh, screenshots that I can use um, as material for a video or for qualitative analysis. Uh, and uh, that's it. Enjoy uh, and uh, have fun.